welcome back. So today I'm going to run through how getting your foot forward. A lot of people really struggle with getting their foot forward um, into poses such as lunge or into lizard position or some other variations where we need to bring the foot forward. So I'm going to go through a variety of poses that will explain how we find that space and we can get our foot forward. The most common problem I normally see with getting your foot forward is we're struggling to find the space. So commonly what will happen, you'll be in down dog for example, and then from here you're starting to come forward and then your foot gets stuck and you're then trying to hoik it all the way to the top of the mat. So what I'm going to do today is show you with down dog and plank how to get that foot forward between the hands. And then um, we're going to go into some movements for the hips. So when we're actually bringing the leg round for something like a lizard pose, okay? So the first one we're going to do, because it's the simplest one to show you, is down dog, okay? So spread the fingertips into the mat, make sure the hands are fully grounded, tuck the toes in, and then we're gonna press up into down dog. So create plenty of space within the shoulders, so opening up the shoulders. Um, if you can get your heels down, that's great, but don't worry if you can't, okay? It's not a problem. So from here, what we're looking to do is get this left foot forward, okay? So we're gonna draw the left foot into the chest. We're gonna take a deep inhale. As we inhale, we're gonna lift up onto the back toes, moving the body forward. As we move the body forward, we're tucking the toes under. So from here, tuck the toes under, and we're gonna bring it forward. As we bring it forward, we lift the left hand, and we can bring the foot forward, okay? So from there, you then sink the back heel, and we're then ready to go into for example, our crescent lunge, okay? Now, from here, I'm going to just bring it back. We're going to have a go at going into the plank position. Okay, so I'm gonna go through these both again in a moment. So rolling the fingers through, we're gonna come into high plank. So tuck the navel in, so pulling the belly button in. We're keeping the shoulders nice and wide again. We're gonna draw the left foot in. We're gonna to start to come forward. As we come forward, lift up so you see i'm creating this extra sort of half an inch inch maybe a couple more in that down dog and so that creates space as we bring the foot forward we lift the hand bringing the hand round and we're now into our crescent lunge again so what it is really is we're just trying to create a magic trick which is the way i would look at it when people think that they've got to get their leg forward with no movement okay so we're just trying to create some space and then some more space at the front as well and we also use in the back, so we're arching the back up and that creates a little bit more space, okay? So just gonna go through that down dog again. Roll through the fingertips, into down dog, open it up. So, most of you will be either in a down dog with the heels down, okay? Some of you might be a little bit more up here, knees might be slightly bent even, okay? It doesn't matter where you start from. Let's just pretend we're on toes a little bit more. Okay, you're gonna bring the left foot in. Okay, now you wanna press up into the back of those toes, okay? So you're creating all that extra space. As we rise up, I'm drawing the back up towards the ceiling, pulling the toes in, I'm lifting this hand up a little bit to let my foot come in, because it creates that little bit of extra space again to bring the foot forward, okay? So we're gonna do the same again in a plank. So we're in our plank position. Coming forward into high plank. So at the moment, my heels are pressed back, yeah? So your plank. We're opening up the shoulders, so broadening the shoulders, pulling the belly button in. We draw the left foot in. Now, I'm gonna create some more space. How do I do this? I squeeze up onto the back toes. I draw my back up, knees in, bring the foot forward, lifting the hand, bring it forward, and release, okay? So those are the two um, for the more uh, straight down the line alignment with plank and downward dog okay now hip movement when we're going into something like a lizard again the most common issues I find with people trying to get their foot forward is they're trying to literally bring the foot like this so they can't do anything with it and then they end up doing this to try and get their foot forward yeah your hip is a ball okay you want to work with what your hip wants to do yeah so with this one we want to draw the knee up so you can Really elaborate a little bit here and come up and over, swing the leg round and then forward to the front of the foot, um, front of the mat, okay? 
So I'll show you that one again. So imagine a little bit like a fire hydrant exercise. You're gonna draw the knee up, you're gonna draw the knee round, bring the foot out and forward, okay? So when we actually do it, it might look a little bit quicker. So we're just coming forward and forward, okay? So um, don't worry about being too graceful with the foot landing, okay? But it's about trying to get the foot forward but in a nice smooth action. So just work with the hip. It's far more comfortable to work in a circular movement than it is to try and yank the knee forward um, when you're trying to come to the outside of your hand, okay? So that's a slightly different movement. So that's the first one. So we're on our knees, we want to go into, say, a lizard. We bring the foot forward, lifting up, ready to go to something like a lily. The other option is you might be going into something like a twisted lunge. So we're spreading the fingers, we're in a plank position again, but same principle. We want to slow this down, so I'm going to slow it down for you. Draw the left knee in, coming up and out, bringing it forward, and then you can sink forward, draw the knee towards the shoulder, okay, when you're in this position, and then maybe bringing the hand in for your twist, okay. Watching the back heel as well. Now, We'll do this again. So we're coming into plank. We're going to do it nice and controlled. So from here, draw the knee in. You can lift it up and out. Bring the body forward. So you'll see I'm pressing up onto my toes and that allows me to bring the foot forward. So it gives me that extra inch or so just to lift up and over. So if you are struggling to get that foot up and over, just try bringing in that extra little press into the toes and see if that helps you lift up and over to bring the foot forward. Anyway, I hope that's helped you, that's given you a few tips. Remember, your hands are there to move, your feet are there to move, and your back. So when we practice things like cat-cow, that's one of the reasons. As you do this, that's kind of what we're trying to do, we're drawing the belly up, which creates extra space. So from a plank position, lifting up, I've created that much more space as I move forward and back. So try all of these, have a go, see how you get on. Please do comment below, let me know how you get on and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.